This is Bill. And for those of you who don't know Bill, he's old and tired. His engine is very low on compression and I featured him several videos ago where I had him attached to a sweepster broom and I was trying to sweep oh, all the man. excess stones out of my front yard. I kept losing power and the engine was dying. This thing's a turd. Based on that video, I had a lot of viewer comments. They gave me suggestions like do a wet compression test, use some engine restore oil additive, give Bill to me, take Bill to the scrapyard, you name it. So in this video, I am gonna do a wet compression test to try to determine if the problem is rings or the valves. I'm gonna use some engine restore to see if it actually improves compression. And then I came up with a couple tests of my own, one of which I was really surprised by the results. I hope you'll stick around to see it. So let's get into it. Go, dig, drive, DIY. So of all the comments and suggestions I got in the last video, there were a few things that really rose to the top. One test was to do a wet compression test. This means squirt some oil into the cylinders. Okay, I just got an oil can here filled with just 10W30 motor oil. I'm gonna get a little squirt in each cylinder. By putting oil into the cylinders, you'll actually measure whether or not the oil is getting past the rings. Then you can tell if you're losing compression based on the rings and the cylinder walls or the valves. I had about 60 PSI of compression in one cylinder and around 80 in the other cylinder. After doing the wet compression test, I found that the compression really did not increase. And based on what the viewers said, that probably means I have a problem with the valves. So I kind of had a baseline for where I wanted to be and what I understood. I had this idea for a test on Bill. My idea was to load Bill up with a bunch of weight. This would increase traction. And then I was gonna go out on the road and see what I could flat tow. What could I pull with Bill? And I thought with the amount of weight and traction that I'd get from being on the road, I would be able to stall the engine out. So that was my goal. I'm gonna start out light and work my way up and just see what Bill does. I think before I get to the end, I'll be stalling the engine out and he won't have enough power to pull. That was easy. No problem with the Jeep. Let's up the weight. Okay, I'm gonna up the ante a little bit with the uh, F750.
All right, well, obviously I didn't expect that. I didn't think that the tractor would be able to pull the dump truck and the trailer without stalling out the engine, let alone the dump truck trailer and backhoe on the trailer. So I'll have to figure out how many pounds that is. The backhoe is 16,000. Truck and trailer has got to be. So now I don't know what to do because that's how I was going to prove out that the motor was tired and the reason for putting the restore in the engine. So now I'm just back to poor compression. I thought this would be the nail in the coffin for Bill, but uh, so let's try the engine restore and see how the compression looks after that. <laughs> All right. I was shocked that Bill was still able to do it. Maybe there's folks out there that aren't surprised at all. I don't know. I've never attempted to tow something that heavy with just a lawn tractor. But if you've got a story you can tell me about an amazing feat that your tractor performed, I'd love to hear about it. There's always folks that say, I can't believe I did that. And then there's folks that say, oh yeah, I tow loaded dump trucks all the time with my garden tractors. <laughs> so who knows? But I think I'm still going to stay the course. I want to try a can of this engine restore. This is what everyone in the comments suggested that I use and I've never tried it before. So I figure it's worth a shot in Bill. This tractor is already a little bit low on oil. It had a recent oil change last fall. I'm just gonna add about eight or nine ounces to it, even though it's a pint low. And then we'll put the mower deck on and I will go out and see if I can mow some heavy grass, see if there's any increase in performance. Um, then we'll come back in and do a final test of compression. It's actually 30 weight oil in here that is a delivery method to bring the CSL. That's the, CSL is the ingredient that does the magic of this stuff. You know, I don't know if that restore is gonna do any good or not since the problem looks like it's in the valves based on the wet compression test, but we'll just have to find out. It's interesting, you can see the uh, restore on there. It's blue. Bloop, bloop. Well, I don't need all this weight on here just to mow grass. I've lifted weights two days in a row. I'm just gonna throw a mower deck on it so that I can mow some tall grass. And I think this will probably load the engine more than what that flat toe test did. Another thing I wanted to mention is I could keep adding weight. I could hook on things behind my dump truck trailer to keep adding weight. But more than likely, I would get to the point where I'm going to break something in the rear end. And I'm really not interested in breaking it right now. So I'm going to quit while I'm ahead on the toe test. Make sure it looks good. This actually tells the state of this engine better than what that flat toe did because uh, the heavy grass, the mower deck running, really puts more of a load on this engine and I can still tell it's pretty weak. I don't know if I was able to capture it or not, but it died back there. I thought it was low on gas. It wasn't out of gas, it just ran out of power. So same thing that was happening with the power broom. These 318s should never run out of power just mowing grass like this. So. It's still gonna be interesting to see what the compression is though after I'm done. So I'm gonna hurry up and finish this up and then we'll go back to the shop and see if it did anything to help our compression.
So we've ran it some tall grass, we got it hot. It's had the uh, engine restore treatment and the uh, engine oil. So let's see if we had any improvement in the compression. This is the side that was only 60 PSI before, so let's see what we got now. We're still right at 60 PSI. Okay, here's the other side. Okay, this one is about, I think this one was 80, just under 80 before, 60, 70, not quite 75. Well, I just checked my notes from the last video I made where I checked compression after it was warm and I had readings of 65 and 80 and now I'm showing about 60 and 75 ish. So for me, after using the restore, the compression didn't improve. Matter of fact, it could be a little bit worse. I'm just going to call it the same, but I think what I was able to determine from the wet compression test was that my issue is most likely in the valves and not the rings. And I think Restore does a better job of improving performance and compression when your rings and cylinder walls are worn. So I'm sure if I'm wrong, someone will correct me on that, but that's the conclusion I'm drawing because I don't see any improvements here. I could tell when I was mowing the tall grass that it just wasn't performing the way I would want it to. And that to me tells me I still have a decision to make. I think I know what I'm gonna do, but I'm not gonna let you know that quite yet. I'm gonna wait for another video to fill you in on what the plans are for Bill here. It's either going to be a rebuild, a repower, or a recycle. <laughs> and, and I'll talk to you about that hopefully in a future video. So thanks so much for checking this out. I hope to see you around in the next one. We'll see you then. Take care. Well, now I can safely say a John Deere 318 will tow about 38,000 pounds. <laughs> Just occurred to me that people might think you were driving the truck ahead and keeping that rope perfectly taut. Mm -hmm. Were you driving? No. Now you don't look like you're not lying. <laughs> were you in neutral? With the ignition off. Yeah. Proof be told, folks. No funny business. <laughs>